welcome to ABC Interactive English. This is Henry, and this is Karen.、Mm -hmm. And today we are looking at day one of our trends and fads, and it's called food trucks, meals on wheels. And the vocabulary words are truck, truck. Many trucks travel on this road. Park, park. You can't park your car here. Factory, factory. This factory makes screens for smartphones. Fashionable, fashionable. Kitty's shoes are always very fashionable. Mm-hmm. Karen, here's a question for you. Okay, what's your question? Why are most of the trucks in Taiwan blue? Hmm, that's an interesting question. I know. I could. I never thought yeah, about that. I mean, if you think about it, I can understand why the taxis are yellow, right?、Mm -hmm. You know, because it attracts your attention. Yeah. But why are the trucks blue? Yeah, that's a、hmm. really good question. Not, I really don't know. It's not like that in North America, is because it? Because you see trucks from different from colors, right? right? Different right. colors. In fact, they they want to be different, so they you could tell which, which company they. They, they, they're with. They're from. Yeah, that's right. right. So, but why? why? I guess we can try to Google that. I'm sure we'll find something. Well,、uh, well, <laughs> other than, well, maybe one of you out there, if you know, please you know write us, email us, or you know send us a letter. What let us know because I'm really puzzled. Yeah. And yeah. the only reason why I know is because when I was doing my podcast interviewing foreigners. They, they, they ask me, <laughs> and I don't have an answer for them because I don't know why they're blue. And taxis are yellow; it's easy to spot. Right, so that's they, why they're they yellow. Want, they want your attention, which is no longer the case. They're going to start changing them. Are they?、Mm -hmm, oh、mm -hmm, wow, I didn't know、mm -hmm, that. See, hmm, interesting. Things you learn from Henry, <laughs> other than why trucks are blue. Okay, and the question for today is: What is happening to food trucks these days? What is happening to food trucks these days? Mm, yummy. Food trucks, Meals on Wheels. What's that smell? Someone is cooking delicious food, but there are no restaurants nearby. If that's the case, you may be smelling a food truck. Food trucks aren't new. In the USA, they used to park around factories. That way, the workers could get a quick bite to eat. In Taiwan, they gather near markets and other crowded spots. Today, food trucks are becoming fashionable. Some still sell traditional local snacks, but others sell interesting food from around the world. They're like gourmet restaurants on wheels. Explanation one. Hi, I'm Jeff. I'm Mary. Welcome to day one of this month's installment of Trends and Fads. Today, we'll be talking about restaurants that. Aren't really restaurants. Food trucks, everyone, are restaurants on the go for people on the go. Thanks for explaining that, Jeff. And oh, jokes aside, that's a pretty good description of food trucks. The subject of today's article. Also, the title of this article is "Food Trucks: Meals on Wheels." And that's not all. Truck is the first vocabulary word of the day. Truck, truck. It's a noun. A truck is usually a large, heavy automobile that is meant to move things and not people. Though people can ride in trucks. Anyways, yes, a truck's space is usually reserved for things, and that means there is plenty of room for cargo in trucks. For example, trucks can be commonly found on the roads of Taiwan. 货车在台湾的路上很常见。Truck, truck, 卡车，货车是一个名词。卡车的用途啊，主要是用来载运货物的。那刚刚 Jeff 提到的 cargo 就是货物的意思哦。那既然卡车主要不是用来载人的，那么 there are usually only two seats in the truck. There are usually only two seats in the truck. 在卡车里面，通常都只有两个座位。一般的汽车后车厢啊，应该可以放东西。但是如果我们今天要载的东西很多，那就一定要用到卡车或是货车喽。例如 ，We'll need a truck to carry all this stuff. We'll need a truck to carry all this stuff. 我们需要一辆卡车。
货车来搬运全部的东西。我们今天的文章标题啊 ，Food Truck 就是我们熟知的行动餐车哦。Okay, everyone, let's get started with today's lesson. Our article begins with the question, "What's that smell?" Yeah, what is that smell? It smells as though someone is cooking delicious food, but there are no restaurants nearby. How strange! What gives? Well, Jeff, maybe what you're smelling isn't a restaurant at all. There are things besides restaurants that produce the smell of cooking. After all, anyway, if that's the case, you may be smelling a food truck. Ah, yes. Food trucks. Food trucks are new and hip, and in. I just love them. Jeff, food trucks are great, but food trucks are new. Get this: in the USA, they used to park around factories. Pretty good, huh? Well, that's nothing. She's right, everyone. You see, that sentence contains both the second and third vocabulary words of the day. The words "park" and "factory." Park, park. It's a verb. When you park, you stop driving and leave your car in a special area called a parking space. Now, one note: you can park a car, and you can also park other vehicles like motorcycles and things like that. Anyways, if you stop your car or your motorcycle or some other vehicle, if you stop your car. On the side of a road or in a garage, etc., you are parking. For example, there are employees at the fancy restaurant who will park your car for you. 在高级餐厅有员工会帮你停车 Park, park, 停车是动词。一般我们听到 park 是公园的意思，是一个名词哦。但是今天呢、啊，文章里学到的 park 则是动词。指的是停放车辆。那通常啊，我们会把车停在 parking space 停车位，或是 garage 车库。有些地方啊是不能停车的哦。在那里，你可能会看到有标语写着 no parking， no parking， 禁止停车。另外， park 当动词的时候啊，动词三态是规则的哦。Park， parked， parked。来看一个例句 ，Gina forgot。Where she parked her car this morning, Gina forgot where she parked her car this morning. Gina 忘记她今天早上把车停在哪里了 And factory is the third vocabulary word of the day. Factory, factory, it's a noun. A factory is a building in which things are made or manufactured. Anyways, usually factories are huge places where people. And machines work in tandem or work together while making stuff, while making tons and tons of stuff. For example, in the coming years, more and more factories will open in Southeast Asia. 在未来几年，会有越来越多工厂在东南亚开设。Factory, factory. 工厂是名词，在工厂里面啊，人和机器会 work in tandem， 一起工作，制造出大量的产品。例如 ，My uncle opened a car factory. My uncle opened a car factory. 我叔叔啊，开了一间汽车工厂。工厂的规模可大可小，可是如果是大工厂的话，有几千名劳工都是很正常的哦。例如 ，There are thousands of workers working in the factory. There are thousands of workers working in the factory. 有数千名工人在那间工厂里面工作。那回到文章里，刚刚说到，如果你闻到一股很香的味道，可是附近又没有餐厅，那很可能你就是闻到餐车的味道喽。而在美国啊，餐车通常会停在工厂的附近。Jeff, why did these food trucks? Park around factories. Well, that way the workers at these factories could get a quick bite to eat. Hmm, that sounds reasonable enough to me. Anyway, that's enough for now. In fact, it is now time for a break. That's true, folks. But don't go away. We'll be back soon. Yeah.
欢迎收看《就爱讲英文》，我是悠悠，我是吉安。经济不好，钱越来越难赚，情拍谈加岁寒，有时候还要被老板强迫放假。今天就来教教大家有薪假、无薪假的英文说法。好，这个有薪假呢，就是 paid leave， <笑> paid leave， leave 呢就是休息嘛、嗯。你这个休息是有给你钱的，所以 paid leave， paid leave。对，那相反的话就是你放假的时候没钱拿，钱拿那就是 unpaid leave， unpaid leave。对，这个是大家文字设变的东西呀、啊，是 unpaid leave。有薪假越多越好，嗯，是是越多越好，我们可以用这个句型，是用这个 the 加比较级的比较级，然后后面还可以加主词动词，嗯，比如说呢 ，the more pay leave I get， 我有越多的这些有薪假，嗯 ，the happier I am， 嗯 ，the more pay leave I get， the happier I am， 嗯，或者是你直接讲哈，就是 the 比较级的比较级，这样就好了，是 the more pay leave the better。The more pay leave, the better.、Mm-hmm. Oh, the more money I have, the more things I can buy. Yeah, 对,对。Oh, 有薪假会不会太多嘞？对，对，不会。如果面试的 interview， <笑>面试 interview 之后呢，公司给你的条件说是一年有十天的有薪假。哦、oh.。那那也不错，那不错不错。哦，你说 They offer me ten days pay leave. They offer me ten days pay leave. 对，你看你这几天啦、啊。如果你有十四天的话，就 fourteen days of pay leave. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. 虽然说只有十天的假可以用，但是我想要省着点用，因为一次只要请个半天就好了。这样怎么说？啊、嗯呃，请半天假嘛，那就是请早上或者是下午，对不对？对。如果请早上的话，就 take the morning off. Take the morning off. 那请下午就 take the afternoon off. Take the afternoon off. 嗯嗯。可是不过相较之下，很多是无薪假，都是被强迫的。对。比如说公司强迫你要放无薪假，因为没有钱给你了嘛，嗯、对不对？那你就说 My company forced us to take unpaid leave. My company forced us to take unpaid leave. 对 ，to force somebody to do something.、嗯、你也可以把它，对，把它写成。For somebody into doing something. For somebody into doing something. B C. 就范的意思啊，所以呢 ，My company forced us into taking unpaid leave. My company forced us into taking unpaid leave. 听得出来我有多生气吗？对，太邪恶。太邪恶，人生苦短了。啊，嗯，我要 B C 的声音。对对对。Jay, I'm going to take the afternoon off. Off. All right. Bye bye. <laughs> 好了，我们看一下今天的 live action. Hey Yo Yo,、mm-hmm. how was your interview? Yeah, it was good. They offered me ten days paid leave. Oh, not bad.、Yeah. You know, the more pay leave you get, the better. Have any workers there mentioned unpaid leave? Uh, not that I know of. But you're right. Many companies do force their workers into taking unpaid leave.、Mm, that's what I heard too. Yeah. Well, I'm off. I'm going to take the afternoon off. See you later. Well, I'm so happy. Explanation two. Welcome back to Trends and Fads. Before the break, Mary and I started to read day one of an article called "Food Trucks." Meals on wheels. Yep, food trucks used to be a big deal in America long ago, and now they're back. Yep, food trucks are back, and nowadays food trucks aren't only found next to factories. Moreover, food trucks have made it all the way to Taiwan. Yep, in Taiwan, food trucks gather near markets and other crowded spots. Today, food trucks are all the rage. In fact, food trucks are becoming quite chic these days. Chic? Our article did not use that word to describe contemporary food trucks. It looks like we're going to have to ask the question of the day to figure out what Mary was saying just then. Here's the question. What is happening to food trucks these days? Today, says the article, food trucks are becoming fashionable. Today, says the article, food trucks are becoming fashionable.
and fashionable is the final vocabulary word of the day. Fashionable, fashionable. It's an adjective. If a person or a thing is fashionable, this person or thing is in style. Yeah, fashionable people are cool and hip, and chic. They wear the newest clothes and know all about the latest fads and fashions. Similarly, fashionable things are currently trendy. Yes, fashionable things are in demand. People really want to have these fashionable things. For example, nice sweater. How do you always manage to look fashionable? 好好看的毛衣哦，你怎么可以一直都看起来这么时髦啊 ？Fashionable, fashionable， 流行的、新潮的，是形容词。如果我们说一个人或东西很新潮，那它就是 in style， 很有风格，懂得时尚。来看一个例句 ：My mother is a fashionable woman. My mother is a fashionable woman. 我的母亲啊，是一位新潮的女士。那 fashionable 除了可以用来称赞某个人很新潮，我们也可以用它来形容物品哦。例如 ，That hat looks fashionable on you. That hat looks fashionable on you. 那顶帽子啊，戴在你身上，看起来真是时尚。回到文章，行动餐车啊，不止在美国，现在在台湾也有喽。他们通常会在市场或是很多人潮的地方附近。而现今，行动餐车已经变得很新潮了。Okay, everyone, let's get back to our article. Food trucks, it seems, are becoming fashionable. But what do these food trucks have? What do they sell? Good questions, all, Mary. And here's an answer for you. Some still sell traditional local snacks, but others sell interesting food from around the world. Wow, these food trucks sure do sound great. I agree. They're like gourmet restaurants on wheels, or at least that's what they feel like to me. Anyway, with that, today's article is done. Yes, it is. But I hope everyone enjoyed reading "Food Trucks, Meals on Wheels" with us. Me too. Okay, guys. Like I said, that's it for day one of trends and fads. But don't forget to join us next time for day two. Food trucks, meals on wheels. What's that smell? Someone is cooking delicious food, but there are no restaurants nearby. If that's the case, you may be smelling a food truck. Food trucks aren't new. In the USA, they used to park around factories. That way, the workers could get a quick bite to eat. In Taiwan, they gather near markets and other crowded spots. Today, food trucks are becoming fashionable. Some still sell traditional local snacks, but others sell interesting food from around the world. They're like gourmet restaurants on wheels. Welcome,欢迎收看全民说英语。我是Daphne。今天来跟大家分享三则文法。第一则是表示靠车子运送的形容词片语on wheels。第二则是表示如果是那样的话的副词子句，if that's the case。第三则是表示随便吃个东西的动词片语，get a quick bite to eat。让我们从形容词片语开始吧。On wheels，意思是靠车子运送的。On 是地方介系词，在点点点上面。Wheel 是名词，轮子的意思。合在一起 ，on wheels 意思是在轮子上。引申指靠车子运送的，移动式的。例如 ，A diner on wheels was parked on the corner. 街角停着一台餐车。接着来看下一则文法。副词子句 ，if that's the case， 意思是如果是那样的话。if 是连接词如果的意思，后方引出副词子句主词加动词，表示条件。子句中的代名词 that 代指先前提过的事情，名词 case 是事情情况的意思。合在一起 ，if that's the case 就是如果是那样的话。下文再接主要子句，主词加动词，表示结果。
完整的句型。If that's the case， 主词加动词，意思就是如果那样的话，就点点点。例如 ，If that's the case， we will work overtime。如果那样的话，我们就加班吧。接着来看下一则文法。动词片语 get a quick bite to eat， 意思是随便吃个东西。get 在这里是及物动词，得到买的意思。形容词 quick 是快速的意思。bite 在这里是名词，便餐的意思。后方用不定词 to eat 吃来修饰，合在一起 get a quick bite to eat， 字面意思就是买个便餐，快速吃一吃，引申指随便吃个东西的意思。为口语表达法，例如 ，Jerry got a quick bite to eat at the convenience store. Jerry 在便利商店随便吃一吃。以上就是今天的三则文法，全民双语。我们下次见喽。A sentence a day. Hello, welcome to a sentence a day with me, Henry. 我们跟朋友玩的时候，在一起吃喝玩乐的时候，常常会去很多不一样的地方。那在美国加州我长大的地方呢，我们花非常非常多的时间在购物中心，因为购物中心有什么都有，可以 shopping， 可以吃东西，有美食街，或是你可以去看电影。That's right。所以很多朋友都会在购物中心里头吃喝玩乐。And the sentence for today is: How do I look in these jeans? 我穿这件牛仔裤好看吗 ？That's right. Hey, what is what do we do at a mall? We shop. That's right. We buy things, and we could ask each other for their opinion. Right? You want to know how do I look? Especially when you're with your friends, you want them to be honest. You don't want to buy something and regret it. So you want to make sure that you look good. Do I look good in these jeans? Do I look good in this shirt? Do I look good in this sweater? Do I look good in this hat? Just like that, the sentence for today is: How do I look in these jeans? Be honest, tell me. But you know, I really I look good in anything. <laughs> See you next time. Bye bye. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny， 又到我们一分钟单元喽。那我们今天要用一分钟的时间来复习在 trends and fads 学到的四个单词。同学们，您都准备好了没？一分钟计时，开始。第一单词叫做卡车，卡车，它也不是有人说拖拉库吗？就是来自那个英文叫做 truck。Truck, tulaku. The truck is loaded with watermelons. 那台卡车载着满满的西瓜。再看第二单词，它是停车。我们看到停车场不是一个 P 吗？所以 P 开头是什么呢 ？Park. Park 当动词就表示停车，当名词当然是指公园喽。Where did you park your car? 哎，你把车停在哪里呢？再看第三个单词，工厂。工厂怎么说呢？叫做 factory. Factory, factory. His aunt works in a shoe factory. 她的阿姨是在制造鞋子的工厂工作的。再看第四个单词是流行的、新潮的。哎，你知不知道流行时尚怎么说？叫做 fashion. Fashion 后面加个 able 这个形容词字尾，就是 fashionable. Fashionable 很流行的。The man is wearing a fashionable hat. 那名男子他戴一顶很新潮的帽子，很潮的帽子。好，太好了。我们在一分钟之内顺利复习完四个单词。同学们表现很棒哦。那回去要多多复习。今天的 ABC Interactive English 到此为止，下次见喽，拜拜。